Hey everyone, and welcome to the third and final episode in the Balloon Man series. Today we'll be finishing the game by adding the win screen and lose screen, as well as the health for Balloon Man. If you want to help the channel out, then make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. But anyway, let's get right into this video. Okay, so now we can actually worry about what happens when you lose all the letters. Because right now, if we just do a bunch of letters, it just freezes a stick man and doesn't do anything. So I want it to where once you lose, he just kind of goes wee off screen. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the balloon man create a variable for the sprite only called y velocity like this and then set that y velocity to negative 10 so that way it has a little bit of downward momentum. Now in this the costume number part set the size to a really big number so it can go off screen. Then we want to change the y by that y velocity variable and then set the size to 100%. Okay now we want to change the y velocity by 1 so it increases going up. Up. Then we change the ghost effect, which will make it fade out a little bit, by the y velocity. Now that'll make it go too much, so we divide that by 5 to reduce the effect a little. Okay, so if we've done everything correctly, when we lose, we should float off. So let's just put in some random letters, and then there we go. Look at that, it floats off the screen. Now let's actually make the win manager and stuff recognize that we've lost. So we'll do a when I receive load new world like this forever, wait until the costume number equals max health then we want to broadcast the lose which is just a new mess message so we do that and then we stop this script to stop it from happening again now in the text engine go ahead and make a new variable called can type which is another one to keep track of if we can type or not and now duplicate this is typing as false for this and check if the can type is equal to true. And set can type in the beginning to true. Add a when I receive the lose message, then we want to set that can type to false so it removes the ability to add inputs after we've lost. Then we'll wait the 0.5 seconds to give it some animation time, broadcast the clear all text or yeah clear, wait where is it? clear all clones. Then we want to set the Y to zero, which is the Y position of the text. So it goes to the middle, wait one frame because for some reason it makes it work better. Then we want to go ahead and make it show the answer. So to do this, we need to make a custom lock called show answer, then with a colon, then the input answer or word, I guess would be better. And then run without screen refresh. Okay. Then we want to run the show answer right here. And we can go ahead and just make this a little better looking by by doing a join block and do answer with a colon and then a space then we can join that with the word so that way it prints out the word now in the show answer we want to go ahead and do a get width of text the word here then we want to print answer or the word here and then the y will be 25 and for now we can just do 100 now i'm going to go ahead and add a note here to do make the size adjust depending on text length that way it never goes off screen Then we want to just print underneath here the join all this stuff and change it to score with a colon and a space. And then we need to make a variable called score and click OK and then do the score. And the Y for this will be negative 25. So it's underneath that and the size will just be 100. Now, if we've done everything correctly, once we lose, it should pop the word into the middle. So right now the word is subway. So if I lose a bunch like this, OK, move up. There we go, look at that, it prints out the answer subway, the score is zero. Okay, so that way you can see what you lost on. And it also clears out the missed letters up here, and we shouldn't be able to type. I'm pressing keys, but nothing is happening. Okay, so that is good, so now it's spam proof, so you can't break it. Alrighty, so now let's make the score work really quick, so it's nice and cool. In this win condition, we want to also change the score by simply the length of the word, which is just how many letters are in there. Also, when you win, go ahead and set the can type to false, like this above the wait 0.5 seconds. Okay, so now we should actually get some score. So if I go ahead and type in lunch like this, because that's the word, it actually does nothing okay but we can't type anymore so that is good however if we go ahead and just spam it prints out the score and we have five score okay so that's bad though because we shouldn't have five score after starting over 
So we need to make sure we reset the score to zero in the beginning. Okay, so now it should reset it each time. Now, really quick, just because I like making things look nice, let's add a little bit of a detail to where the score number and the answer will be a different color than the text. So let's add a new input for the print block called brightness after digit with a colon and then digit like this and click OK. So this basically will make it to where we can set a number and after that number in the digits, it'll be a color. So right here, let's just set the brightness to zero so it doesn't have any effects on it and then we can check if the digit input is not equal to negative one. So basically, if we set it to negative one, that means we don't want any effects. So that way we don't have to have the effects. And digit is greater than the I, or the I is greater than digit. That means that we are in the correct digit area. Then we can actually set the brightness to 30 so it increases it. So, okay, so let's fill all these in with negative one because we don't want any brightness effect. I mean, you could have it, but I, I'm not going to. So negative one for all these ones and that. But for the score and word, what we need to do is count the digits of this right here. So for the answer, we start the first one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can put eight in here. And the score one is after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is seven. So now you can see that it is all the same and stuff. But if we lose it and then it prints out the thing, here we go look at that it's a little bit brighter so just to exaggerate this a little bit let's set the brightness effect in here to like 80 or something and then let's change it to where when you get a new word the brightness digit after is three so that means that after digit three it'll be brighter so you can see that one two three and then these are bright that's how that works and you can turn that off by just doing negative one okay so now let's go ahead and set that back to 30 now that i've shown what it does and let's move on okay so let's go ahead and do one little thing make it to where the balloon man fades out when we win so add a win and receive the win repeat 10 times change the ghost effect by just a little bit not enough to fade it out completely but just a little bit so do five so that'll just make it look cool now let's actually make the win do the thingy where it like goes down with the bars and looks cool so in the win manager add a win i receive or no a win green flag clicked go to and then a new variable called id then we want to set that id to sprite like this and then go ahead and do a hide block in here now we want to go ahead and do a good old win i receive the win so this is after we've won the game completely then we want to go ahead and wait a second and clear the graphic effects hide it so it removes itself switch cost into the small so that way we can actually set the size really really large so set the size to 800 instantly switch back to the bars so this is like the hack to be able to set up size to really big go to front so it's in front and then show now we can go ahead and just make this smoothly go back to size 100 so change size by 100 minus size like this 100 minus the size then we take all that time 0.3 to smooth it out of course now this won't actually work because it's too big so we want to switch costume to the small first and then switch costume to the, the bars now if we go ahead and get the correct one so this one is paper so paper and we get the correct word it lags out like crazy now why is that that is because this weight and weight is in a run screen without refresh block so we need to edit this and take out the run screen without refresh in the text engine and now if we get the correct one we can go ahead and do that and there we go it fades out and then it does the bar animation so let's make the text move to the middle so that way you can actually see it because that's kind of weird just having the random bars so this is actually really really simple to do thankfully duplicate this and then change this to a win and instead of deleting the clone we literally just set the y to zero so it moves to the middle of the screen so now you can see when we type in the ones easy whatever it moves to the middle the bars come down and that looks awesome so now all the last step of making this work is make the screen fade and then it print out a brand new word that we've never used before so yeah let's do that real quick in the win manager so do a win I receive win wait three seconds create a clone of myself so it makes a new clone now this clone will want to set its id to clone because it's a clone surprise surprise then we want to switch costume to fade then we want to clear the graphic effects set its ghost effect to 100 so it's a completely invisible repeat 20 times and make it fade in so let's go to front and change the ghost effect by that's not 
ghost effect. Ghost effect by negative five, so it fades in. We want to then delete all the bars and stuff. So add a remove when screen right here. So broadcast that new one. Now in the when I receive, check if the ID variable is equal to the sprite. So if this is the sprite doing it, then we'll hide. Okay, so now that we have that, we want to go ahead and then do a when I receive win, delete this clone, so that way it clears out the last one so it doesn't have anything left over. Then we want to, down here, stop other scripts and sprites so it kind of cancels out anything else like this one. Wait one second to give it a little bit of a delay. Then we want to just broadcast load new word so it loads up a brand new word for us to play. Then fade back out the screen so do this repeat 20 and then change this to 5. So if we've done everything correctly there should be a nice fade to the screen. That's really long I'm gonna get a new word. Okay so I've typed in the word there we go the animations here then there we go it fades out and yes look at that it fades into a new word and it should be a different one yep there we go it's puppy now and in our use words it's 50 long so it's adding a bunch of use words that's not good it should only have one inside of the new word let's go ahead and set the y to back to negative 125 and then make sure you set the can type back to true so there's no funky things and wait i think i actually know why it's making a bunch of them is because all the clones are doing it as well so make sure you add an if statement here checking if the id is equal to sprite here and i think that should fix it so inside of the except make sure you don't do this part you just want to do the new word in there the clear our clones should be received by everything now in the use words it should only have one. Oh wait hold up we also need to delete all the use words in the very beginning that way it doesn't have the use words there Okay, so it says galaxy, so that's the current word, galaxy. Now we click on that, it fades in, then it does the fade out, fancy animation, and now, okay, so now it's only adding one. So this is now working, we just needed to add that little code in. Okay, so this is working great now. We can have the losing and all that stuff. I think that's everything. So let's do one last test run. I can go ahead and just spam it a bunch of letters. I slowly lose health. Then once I lose, it fades out. It tells me the answer, which was hello everyone. I had zero score, but say if I actually got a word. So this word is puppy. I get that. That should give me one, two, three, four, five score. Now I move on to the next one. It fades in, gives me a new word. Then say I think at this one's a bean. Okay, so I get four more score. Okay, so that's cool. And then we move on. And now I'm going to on purpose lose. So I'm just going to type in some random stuff. I lose. It'll say the answer was staff. And then my score was nine after all. Okay, so this is working great. And it should be spam proof as well. Even if I spam stuff all crazy. Yep, nothing happens. It'll just lose and tell me the score. Thank you all so much for watching the final episode in the Balloon Man series. But anyway, this has been Owen and I am out. Thank <music> you.